Hi everyone, this is Mike with Herbert ABS with another learning series video. In this clip, I'll be going over something that is a frequent source of confusion, testing and changing online communication settings within our Gage Reader software. Gage Reader is our standalone program that handles all communications with the onboard tank level system and makes that information available to Cargomax. There are other learning series videos related to installing Gage Reader and the configuration within Cargomax. For this video, we're going to get into some simple troubleshooting on the online communications themselves. Typically, Gauge Reader will simply appear as an icon in the system tray area, as shown here. In normal operation, it will simply sit there and do its thing. However, when needed, such as when the icon is red, indicating a communication issue, double-clicking on it or right-clicking and selecting Open Gauge Viewer will bring up the Gauge Viewer software. This is the interface showing Gauge Reader information and performance. In this example I'm showing, we can see a number of issues. I've got lots of red, not connected status indications, as well as error messages appearing in the log. The error quickly points to the issue, which is very common, not having the correct COM port selected. We'll quickly go through changing that. First, click on the Open Gauging Configuration in the ribbon bar. This will bring up our Gauge Configuration tool. The main table is focused on mapping the data into Cargomax correctly, but the panel on the left has the overall settings for the system. Gauge Reader can handle a wide range of communications protocols, and each will have different settings available. In this case, we have a Modbus system running over a COM port, and we want to make sure we have the correct COM port number specified. I can find the appropriate setting, which is showing COM port 1 is selected. However, as we saw in Gauge Viewer, this COM port does not actually exist on the computer and cannot be connected to. If I look in the tooltip area at the bottom of the table, I can see that I have other COM ports available instead. It's helpful to note that in many cases where USB to COM adapters are used, they will come in with a descriptive name and are usually assigned to COM 3 or COM 4. In this case, I can see I have a few options, and I'm going to try COM4. I make the change to the setting, and go to File, Save, which will save the new configuration. The last step is closing everything out and restarting Gauge Reader. I can go to my icon in the system tray, right click, and select Exit. Then I can find my Gauge Reader shortcut back on my desktop, and simply restart it. Within a few seconds, I should see my icon show back up in my system tray. This time, I can see that the icon is showing a healthy green, and when I bring up Gauge Viewer, I now see proper operation with communications occurring, and I no longer have any warnings, red indications, or errors. I've successfully changed the COM port and fixed the problem. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching this learning video. For more information, please visit us at www.herbert-abs.com or email us at info at herbert-abs.com.